really was looking for an experience that would kind of better me as a whole. Haiti was definitely always something I wanted to do. When 17-year-old Kasaya Lavelle was only a freshman, she had the opportunity to travel to Haiti to teach English to fourth graders. What she saw deeply affected her. They were extremely deprived of everyday things that we take granted for, like soccer balls and pens and paper and things like that. Among the extreme poverty, she noticed that for the kids, playing soccer brought them joy. But soccer even looked different in Haiti. Lots of the balls were flat, like wrapped in duct tape, no air, something that we would not play with. So she decided she would return to Haiti and would bring brand new soccer balls with her. Amid planning this new goal, tragedy struck her family. Her father, whom taught her a lot about service for others, suddenly passed away. It changed me and I knew that it, because it happened in a different country that is so deprived of like normal things that I knew that I had to go back and I know that my dad is proud for me acting on like my feelings towards a much needed cause. She did return in February and she brought 50 soccer balls with her. There's kids who don't have toys. So to give them a soccer ball, kids' faces were lit up. Sister Sarah Goggin was on both trips with Kasaya and was amazed by her ability to take action on what she saw. I guess that's what makes me think of her is just such an extreme leader. She had a cause and that she got everyone involved in making that dream come true. As for Kasaya, now a senior at Bishop Elmany High School, she already knows she wants to return to Haiti again. It just is an amazing feeling. Like, I can't describe how powerful it is to do something that really didn't take that much to make someone so happy. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.